Hello everyone and welcome back to another video of our web development series and in this video um, we are going to look at arrays which we looked in the previous video also but uh, we are like going to look at a very 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 popular and very important interview question called FISBUS and then we learn you know uh, array two array operations you know how to insert something in array and how to remove something from the array okay so let's get started so first of all let's try and learn uh, like let's try and understand the question first like the FISBUS question so FISBUS question says that given an integer n written a string array answer where answer i should be FISBUS if i is divisible by 3 and 5 if i is divisible by 3 it should return phase and buzz if it is divisible by 5 otherwise number so what the question is stating here um, okay let me just increase the size and here i'll show you suppose this is my array so should uh, like array should be like one two and as soon as any number divisible by three comes it should give me something fits then it should return me four then if five comes it should return me buzz similarly 14 and if 15 comes which is both divisible by 5 and 3 it should return me fizz buzz okay so this should be our array now let's have our array let's say var a is equal to like this and let's do one thing hmm what should we do here okay let's how to insert something in our array that is very simple you just have to write a dot push and you have to write any number inside it let's say one if i save it and if i run let's see what should the okay i haven't consoled anything works let's see if it works or not one great similarly i can do a dot push two a dot push 3 a dot push 4 a dot push what should be here fizz uh, oh sorry here it should be fizz and here it should be what uh, buzz okay now let's try and run it 1 2 fizz 4 buzz okay that should be the output that is the correct output but suppose if somehow I wrote 5 here okay and, and okay one more thing that whenever we use push it always push the element at the end of the array suppose it was 1 2 phase and if I want to push 4 it pushed it at the end of the array okay that is one thing then like I told you this thing then how to like remove this so you can simply write a dot Okay, so this basically pops the last element or removes the last element of the array. 1, 2, phase 4. Okay, great. Now you can see that all the time I'm writing push, push, push and like that, right? So this is a tedious work. So I told you something. If there is a tedious work, what should we do? What should we do? Yes. If you are thinking what I am thinking, then you are right. We should create a function. Right? So let's remove this. Let's have a function. Let's call it fizzbuzz. Okay. Now, code. You have to write the code yourself. Like whenever the fizzbuzz is called, let's let me write this also. You will console A every time and every time it is called. Answer should be like when you called it first time, 1 should be there. Then if you call it second time, 1, 2 should be there. Then at the 3, it should be fizz. Then at the 4, it should be 4. And then 5, it should be buzz. Okay, like that. Hmm, great. Now, have you thought about it? Okay, I hope you did. So let me tell you something how to code it. For that, we have to initialize a variable called, let's say, count. 
this variable would be pushed every time inside a so what i'll do i'll simply say a dot push one uh, sorry a dot push count okay now if i just remove this and if i run it again nothing would appear because i haven't right and fizzbuzz okay one is printed if i write fizzbuzz again one one is printed but it should be printed two so why is that because see count is actually one but you are not increasing the count so simply what you'll do you'll write count plus plus the increment operator remember right so one one two and if i write fizzbuzz again then one one two three but not three it should be written me what fizz so can you code that okay i hope you did now we'll think of something uh, let's just remove this whole part and let's do one thing suppose if my count is divisible by three and count is divisible by five okay then what a should be pushed with this bus else if count is only divisible by three let's say a would be pushed as this else a dot push okay there would be two statements else if let's have the a would be pushed with okay my bad yeah buzz right but okay this so all we have written but what if it is neither divisible by three nor divisible by five then what we have to simply write count yes and in the end we'll just increase the count okay this should work let's think of writing one two three let's just copy this let's um four five okay now let's see let's just remove this and now let's run let's see it in the clear console how it would be printed see one two one two face obviously three should be first one two face four one two face four buzz right okay this was one two five times right let me just copy it and let me print it like this so like 15 times now if i try to run it Mm, okay like this is the one one two fizz four buzz six divisible by three fizz seven eight divisible by three fizz ten divisible by five buzz eleven twelve again divisible by three fizz thirteen fourteen and then in the end fifteen divisible by fizz buzz okay so i hope you understood this thing right okay great so this was you know one of the very important questions which come in the interview in javascript interviews and you learned how to do that you know we did almost everything which we learned in the past few videos we did the conditional statements we learned uh, we also uh, applied functions we also applied increment operator console.log obviously we are doing it and then we also learned about arrays and how to you know push in the array and also i told you about the pop thing okay so i guess that was all in the array at least all right so in the next video we are going to look at another topic in the javascript so thank you for watching this video and see you later